Good morning. I'm leaving my campsite on Smooth Rock Lake. On to Lower Wabakimi Lake. I'm going up river today. There's uh, quite a few rapids and waterfalls on the way. But I'm, I'm going up them, so portaging around. I don't have to worry about getting swept down. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Last, last fresh thing I have with me. <laughs> this whole area is so beautiful. It's so quiet this morning, I feel bad for breaking the silence. There's a couple of waterfalls and rapids along the way, which I'll have to portage around or wait up or line up the canoe so it'll be interesting I think it'll be a tough day but it's always worth it What a beautiful area. Wow. Just amazing. There's another set on the other side of this island. I'm gonna go see those. On the portage right now, um, the water is so high that the water actually comes in on the trail here, and it is freezing cold. It is really cold water. I don't know why, but it seems so much colder than the day before yesterday when I had to wade up Caribou River. Ooh, but the trail is pretty open. See if we can get a nice look here. Yeah. Beautiful. Got my barrel with me for the first time here. Uh, I give a big shout out to Bill and Ann Ostrom for giving me this, uh, this barrel harness. They uh, gave it to me to try out here in Wabakimi. And uh, oh man, what a difference. It's comfortable, very, very comfortable. Walking back for my last bag. Well, there we go. A little bit of longer portage. Nice big set of falls. Boy. Chilly. I have a freight later on, I'm gonna have to go deeper in the water.
first portage. On to the next. Fighting up the current. Uh. Oh, man. So I just lined up my canoe up these little, small little rapids here. But uh, man, that's a hard time. I never done anything like that before. I hope I'm far enough away I can paddle away from this instead of going down it backwards. So anyways, I'll try. I'll give it hard here. I'll try to get across. There seems to be less current there. That's not bad at all actually. The water seems to be moving fast, but I think the canoe just glides over top kind of thing. Oh, it's a lot of new stuff for me to strip. It's kind of nerve wracking, but. Any fast water like that, to be honest with you, it scares the crap out of me. I think that's healthy though. I think that's healthy to uh, be afraid of what can kill you or hurt you or... There's a little bit of fast water, but uh, I might be able to paddle up that. Maybe. Maybe I, maybe I can paddle across the portage. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? That's not supposed to be underwater. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to paddle up this. And wet. Oh. Very nice. Good thing it's kind of sunny out because I can't make my way up here. There's no way. There's no way. 
my wood canoe, my heavy gear, I, I can't paddle up this. Maybe with a lightweight Kevlar and lighter stuff. But this ain't happening today. I'm gonna go back to the campsite and see what my options are. Oh, and I'm fighting the wind too. Great. Great. set up and uh, rethink my game here because I don't think this is gonna happen I don't think so I'm not even sure what to do right now I can't make it up those rapids I can't make it up this river um, found a place on the shore I saw this clearing here I figured I'll go check it out and um, find a place to well at least Maybe I have something, something to eat. It's gonna rethink, warm up, because my legs are cold. I might have a little fire. It's a nice little clearing. There's a nice old stack of firewood. That's gotta be real old though. That's really old, I think. <laughs> On top of a little fire pit, or what used to be one. But I figured this route right here, I'm gonna set up my canoe right here, I'm gonna have a little fire in here somewhere. So I figured now I got a nice little fire going. It's a good time to make supper. It's only four o'clock, but I'm pretty hungry after today. And uh, yesterday, last night, when the storm came rolling in, I was actually trying to make this this meal a friend of mine gave me. Her name is Camper Christina. Well, she her YouTube channel is called Camper Christina, and uh, she gave me these uh, this moral mushroom pasta. She found some morals on uh, in some of her adventures, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to try this. That hits the spot. Oh yeah. Thanks, Christina. If you guys haven't seen her channel yet, go check it out. Camper Christina. She does lots of solo trips, solo canoe trips. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Good morning. So, today I'm staying at the same campsite I was on last night. Um, I am actually just gonna scout ahead on foot and uh, see what I can do there for maybe finding a trail or a portage or even making one myself. The terrain here seems pretty wide open. So, I might be able to find some way past. That would be nice. See, this is all fairly easy to walk by. Today's supposed to be very uh, rainy and windy. That's what the forecast said before I left. I got my ax and saw with me just in case. There's some sort of trail. Something went by here. I got bear spray and a bottle of water with me. It seems like if I go slightly downhill, it gets uh, gets really thick. Like, there's pretty thick woods right here. 
tons of moss, lots of fallen over trees. Um, if I stay up, it's more open rock and moss. Tons of tracks in here, mostly moose, some bear. I feel like I'm getting away from the water right now, so I want to get back down there, see what's happening there. So I think I'm about halfway where I had to turn around yesterday with the canoe. Somehow I made it up this, like it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure right here is the point I was trying to paddle up yesterday and I couldn't make it. It gets a little narrower and uh, water speeds up quite a bit. And uh, I try to give it my all. Uh, there's not really any good places to go ashore. It seems like the water is a little bit slower on the other side. This was definitely a moose. Not too big to be caribou. Lots of food for them here. Look at all these tracks. This is like a highway right here. There's a good big old bear poop. And here's another one. I think they're bear. Not that big, I've seen them a lot bigger, but still, I think it's a bear. They look old. This right here, I think this is a bear that dug out the uh, either bee's nest that was in there or ants just to get some food. He's probably hungry. That's my guess. There's some fresh moose poop. Those look very fresh. Still warm if you hold your hand up to it. <laughs> and back at camp. Okay, I think that gave me a decent idea of what's what's up ahead. I'll uh, give it another shot tomorrow. And uh, if the weather is good tomorrow, that is. We'll see. Just like a couple nights ago, you can hear a thunderstorm heater passing by or rolling in. I hope passing by. Still raining. I got a weather forecast from uh, Wabakimi Outfitters and they told me it's gonna be raining pretty steady for like thunderstorms, showers on and off, at least in the Tuesday morning. So that's good news, it's Sunday, Sunday night, at least for the next day and a half. So I don't even know if I'm gonna move tomorrow.